Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'm going to compare Apollo RT versus Continuum RT Build 20. And I have the latest version of both of these, I hope. And as requested, I shall do a comparison between these two, and at the end I will say my conclusion, and if it's worth giving the money on either of these, as what else could happen. Now this is going to be a review, so without further ado, let's get into this. Starting off, this is Apollo RT, with the lighting set to 1500. And as you can see, it has this, well, burst of colors, I should say. Now if we move forward, you can see the light being reflected from the wool blocks, depending on what color it is, onto the concrete white wool. And as you can see, it just changes from the different colors to whatever it is, which I think is a really key feature. The shadow seems to be decent with the Polo RT. And I can never get enough of this ambient smooth, cool looking lighting. Continuum RT. See, it is not that strong with the lighting being in here. You still can see the colors being reflected, except the shadows are way, way more smoother, sharper, more realistic. I guess I should say, with a little amount of light being reflected from the wall. They wouldn't really reflect that much since it's wall. It isn't that reflective. But yet again, you can really see a clear demonstration of the shadows within Continuum RT. This is Apollo RT with the CSP TGI emissives, and as you can see, the redstone has a very strong impact, and this is the texture of the redstone, which is actually quite interesting. But I just want you to take a look at this pure red. This pure incense red that there is. And sadly, within Apollo RT, the emerald does not emit any lighting. However, if I put the lapis, it does not emit any lighting either. This is Continuum RT Build 20 with the CUSP TGI emissives. And as you can see, the emerald does emit a lighting. The redstone does emit lighting as well, except it is not that intense red that you can see everywhere. And by the looks of it, I feel like the emerald tends to be a little more intense than the redstone that we saw. Furthermore, I also believe the lapis emits the blue lighting within Continuum RT. This is Apollo RT and the special feature that I'm going to say is that if you hold the redstone block in your inventory slot, like so, you can see a sort of torch appearance begins to show up on your screen. Now, if I get the block of redstone, you can see that this is like a massive, powerful, bright torch, which I guess can be used for, well, many things. With Continuum RT Build 20, this is what the mix of colors look like. As you can see on the right hand side we have the red, on the left hand side we have the blue, and we get purple in the middle, which is actually quite beautiful and impressive if you ask me. Well then, you can see that the green begins to take over a bit more than the red, and the green is more powerful than the red. You can see that these are kind of equal in strength, and there is sort of a turquoise color in the middle. This is Apollo RT with the time set to 1500, and as you can see, the lighting be it just gives a different atmosphere in this room, and it truly really does look stunning. Like so. On the other hand, with Continuum RT Build 20, you can see that there is not as much stunning lightning reflected around the room, and the shadows are more sharper with less reflections, and I'm losing my voice. <coughs> but, as you can see, it it just isn't the same effect that Apollo RT offers you. As you can see, this is Apollo RT, with the lighting being reflected, which is absolutely beautiful. And you can just see the wide range of colors and the burst of colors that it gives. This is why I like Apollo RT. like so. And this is Continuum RT, still having the same, uh, well, look of colors, except not as vibrant and vibey, but they are very detailed in their own ways, like so.
This is Apollo RT. And this is Continuum RT, which is more dull, I guess you could say. This is Apollo RT. This is Continuum RT. This is Apollo RT. And this is Continuum RT. However, if I was correct, you could say that the lighting on the first block was not as colored in. But if I tried this, you can see it now being a little bit more greener. And this just shows the focus of Continuum being as realistic as possible. This is Apollo Arty's glimpse of the outside world and how it looks like. And this is Continuity's, well, view of how the outside world looks like. Now, ladies and gents, as for the conclusion, I'm going to give you some extra details with the prices being for Continuum RT being a $10 monthly subscription, which is equivalent to £7.81. Now, with Apollo RT, that is a £7.20 monthly subscription, whereas it being $9.22. So, as you can see, Apollo RT tends to be just that little bit cheaper, but it really depends what you're looking for, because, well... Continuum RT has stuff that Apollo RT doesn't have, and Apollo RT has stuff that Continuum RT doesn't have, and one of those things being the different stages of lighting and what it has to offer. In my opinion, Apollo RT is better to run, as I have tested, and trust me, Continuum RT is a killer if you know anything about Continuum. And Apollo RT generally has just those extra features with it, the foliage and the outside world, being the more shadows, the um, waving foliage, and mob shadows, which Continuum RT still has a little bit to work on. As for that, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, do all of those things. Help me get to 500 subscribers, as it would help a lot. And one more thing I'm going to say is that, well, you guys really decide what is best for you. I have done my best to showcase these, and like if you thought Continuum RT is better, and comment if you think Apollo RT is better. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Adieu.